This is a demonstration to show the basic information available on this scope in the time and frequency domains. We'll start out in time, add the FFT, and then move on to the spectrum analysis. Right now there's a sine wave sweeping from 900 kilohertz up to 1.1 megahertz over a one second period, and it's being generated by the wave generator on channel one. Looking at the oscilloscope in the time domain, if I twiddle with the horizontal time here a little bit, we can start to see that it does appear to be a sine wave and that the frequency is changing. And there's some other information over here. Uh, looking at the frequency box, it seems to be uh, jumping around the one megahertz uh, area. And we can also see that it's a roughly uh, one volt peak to peak wave. If I add in now FFT, oops, and then make some adjustments here to get it a little more information and get it into range. And let me move this out of the way. We can now see uh, from the FFT that there does appear to be a rather sharp peak here in the center, and that's indicative of a sine wave. It does give us some more information that's starting out at eight kilohertz over here and going to uh, two megahertz roughly, and so centered around one megahertz. If I turn on the spectrum analyzer, things become clear. Right now there's uh, two traces. This yellow gold trace is the maximum that's achieved and it just keeps track of them on um, each sweep through. So you see that we get a real sharp rise here and a real sharp drop over here. And then we can see in the orange trace, the uh, individual traces through. And uh, further, if we look, uh, we can see that the center frequency is now at one megahertz, it has a span of one megahertz. So it's starting off here at uh, 500 kilohertz and they're in 100 kilohertz increments. So five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred kilohertz is where it's starting on 1.1 megahertz. So it's sweeping from 900 kilohertz to 1.1 megahertz. And we can also see in decibels the strength of the signal. If I turn on cursors, we get even more information. Uh, I previously set this up. So again, it tells us from 900 kilohertz to about a megahertz, uh, 1.1 megahertz. And I can also turn on the other cursors. And we can get the strength of the signal as well. So uh, that's a demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it.